It's been a long time since I've gotten a new monitor. The last monitor I bought was the LG 27GN950B back when 144Hz 4K IPS panels were kinda a new thing. But now we've got this, the Alienware AW3423DW, a 34-inch Quantum Dot OLED ultra-wide gaming monitor, one that screams at 175Hz and curves around your face to give you what I think could be the ultimate gaming experience in 2023. But there's a catch. There's always a catch. Always a catch. What is up guys, my name is Tyler and today we're looking at one of Alienware's premier displays, the AW3423DW. As I mentioned in the intro, this monitor is an ultra wide QD OLED with 175Hz, measures in at 34 inch and honestly is the best looking monitor I've ever seen. Well, from a design standpoint. If there's one thing Alienware has done well over the years, it's their design language. It may not be for everyone, but one can certainly appreciate the clean, smooth, Alien-esque design that pays homage to some of the earlier Alienware products that really took the gaming world by storm. And while those days may be over, Alienware continues to maintain a strong design language that I think keeps people coming back. It has RGB in some tasteful places and of course the iconic Alien head that if you've ever owned an Alienware product you know is as symbolic as the Apple logo, but for gaming. Speaking of design, this monitor also has one of the best cable routing solutions I've ever seen in a monitor. The bottom cover slides off revealing a nicely packed set of cable routing options for power, display output, and even auxiliary USB output for pass through. And because the power supply for the monitor is built in, you don't have to worry about having a honking power brick behind your desk or on your floor, which is a small touch, but if you're going for the cleanest setup possible, is a very nice addition and one less cable tie you need to use. There's also the classic monitor nipple situation on the bottom to navigate the on-screen display, which is laid out in a pretty straightforward way. In there, you can make some color adjustments, refresh rate, response time, etc. Pretty standard gaming monitor stuff, so I won't waste too much time on it. This is also where you'll change the RGB, because let's be real, that's all you really care about. But enough about the outsides. Let's talk about the display itself. Like I mentioned, it's 34 inches, which is ginormous if you're not used to anything bigger than 24 inches or 27 inches. And since it's ultra wide, it'll be wider than your standard 16 by nine monitor, making it really awkward to sit next to another monitor. This kind of monitor is best on its own or flanked by two similar monitors on either side or one above. This is due to the curve. In order to get the best viewing experience from something like this, you're going to want to sit directly in the center. While off angle viewing is pretty solid, the curve will make the display look strange if you're sitting off angle. So definitely be prepared to make this your main display. The resolution comes in at 3440 by 1440, which is essentially the same as a standard 1440p display, except, well, wider. This also means your pixel density is roughly the same as a standard 2560 by 1440 27 inch monitor, which is 16 by 9. So if you're already on a 1440p display and it's 27 inches, don't expect this monitor to look higher resolution despite it having nearly a thousand more pixels in the width because the display itself is seven inches larger. Complicated, I know. So to make this easy, basically resolution is only as valuable as the screen size you're viewing it on. So while 1440p may be higher resolution than 1080p, your perceived quality and fidelity will depend on the size of the display. 1440p on a 27 inch display will always look better than 1080p on a 27 inch display due to taking the same real estate and packing in more pixels. The opposite happens when you try viewing 1080p on a 34 inch display. The same number of pixels now have to cover a physically larger space, making them seem larger and hence what we would consider lower quality. And just to make things even more confusing, add in viewing distance to the equation and now you've got a pretty little triangle of confusion. So what do you need to know? All you need to know is that this monitor will not look higher resolution than your existing 1440p display. This could be a good thing if you're coming from 1080p or are happy with 1440p, but if you're like me and are used to 4K, well, that's where this monitor begins to fall apart in my eyes. And trust me, it's definitely a me problem. So before I go any further, I'm gonna review this from the standpoint of someone who daily drives a 4K gaming monitor. For my 1080p and 1440p users, the TLDR for you is that this monitor is both an excellent upgrade from any 1080p display and a solid ultra wide upgrade from any standard 1440p display, so long as you keep in mind the 1800R curve and 34 inch size. Cause trust me, it's, it's really big. 
Okay, so what if you're a 4K user? What I can't say personally is that I immediately noticed the resolution difference. I even have a few shots from my phone that I'll show you guys where you can actually see the individual pixels. Now, I may be nitpicking, but if you're used to 4K, you'll notice this too, and you know as much as I do that it's really hard to go back once you've experienced 4K. Now, of course, I'm talking about 4K in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Sure, there are some 4K ultra-wide monitors out there with insane widths, but that lacking pixel count in the height really makes a difference in perceived fidelity in my opinion. True 2160p simply looks better than 1440p no matter the width in my opinion, and that's the exact issue I run into with this monitor. While the colors and blacks of Quantum.OLED are simply unmatched by any other display type in my opinion, I simply can't get over the resolution. Sure, ultrawide has the awe-inspiring presentation, but some games have some distortion on the edges and some games HUD elements are so spread out that I have to physically turn my head to see them, which can be annoying at times. And unfortunately, I don't feel like what I gain in FOV is really worth some of the shortcomings I've run into. Not to mention if you're a streamer. If you plan to stream and use this as your primary capture display, just keep in mind that unless your stream output resolution is set to the same as your display, you're gonna get some pretty intense black bars on your capture, which I can tell you is not particularly pleasing. So many things to consider here. One other thing I want to bring up is HDR. Once you get into this price bracket of gaming monitors, you begin to get HDR 10 plus capable displays. This is one of them with a peak brightness of a thousand nits, which is pretty awesome in titles that support HDR or even Windows own built in HDR that'll take any game and try to make it HDR. However, once you've seen HDR 2000, yeah, it's game over. Personally, I think pure pixel density and HDR peak brightness are what give me the most immersive experience while gaming, not an ultra wide FOV. That's not to say this monitor isn't immersive, because it is, especially if you're coming from 1080p or even standard 1440p like I mentioned. But if you're already on 4K, you're simply not going to be happy with this monitor in my opinion. Sure, the colors, extra FOV, and glossy glass finish are super sexy. At the end of the day though, you'll miss the extra pixel density and extra brightness. Trust me. So to wrap this up, the Alienware AW3423DW, awesome name, is an excellent display, no doubt. But this display to me is the ultimate 1440p or 1080p upgrade for someone who isn't quite ready to dip into the 4K world, whether because of their current hardware or price of entry. So if you're looking for the ultimate 1440p experience, I think this could be it coming in at about $1,100, which don't get me wrong, is still very expensive for a monitor. But if you're looking to either step up your game into 4K or are already on 4K, this monitor will be the most expensive RGB lamp you own, and I bet you'll find yourself going back to your 4K monitor sooner than you think. But hey, if you are into 4K monitors, I got a super spicy review of the Samsung G8 Neo coming soon that I think is exactly what you're looking for. So stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And as always, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. You can find me on all the social platforms these days as XXIV underscore concept. That's 24 concept. Learn your Roman numerals. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. It's a monitor. It's a big wide guy.